it's great to be back here in Worcester at Mazak. Always a pleasure to talk to you, and you're brilliant at what you're doing. I'm sure you won't be any different today. Brand new machine, or I say not brand new, but a newish machine we're looking at here, the HCR from Mazak. When was it introduced, firstly? Uh, we first introduced this machine at EMO last year, and we followed it up again at AMB in September. And I think what we were talking about off camera, about the fact that when you look at a machine, if I had a machine shop, this would be the sort of machine I'd aspire to. It looks good from an operator's perspective. It looks easy to manage and use. Would you agree? I think so, Paul. But that's been purposely designed by looking at the ergonomic position, the view for the operator. That's been part of the process. And uh, we think we've achieved that with this model. We'll come on to why you've developed it in a minute, because firstly, looking at it, we see it's a horizontal five axis, isn't it? Is that a lot, uh, most of your five axis in, with the vertical plane? Yeah, we've developed um, for a number of years a very axis range, been very successful, but for a number of reasons, we took the decision with this model to change to a horizontal spindle attitude. And why is that? What's the difference? What's the advantage? Well, five axis is not new, but what we're seeing is five axis being more spread now, and the requirement being in more, um, per, requiring more and more high production. So we've responded with a model that gives a, a very fast, agile performance in machining five axis. Okay, tell us how fast. Well, a lot of people, when they look at speed, first of all, where they look at things like the rapid traverse rate and they look at things like the G rate. And this machine is outstanding for both of those. It has 60 meters rapid traverse rate and it's 1G acceleration. But the key factor for five axis performance is the jerk rate and this machine is 175 meters cubed um, jerk rate which means it's extremely fast off the mark um, okay so 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 what just explain about that jerk rate for people that don't know well jerk rate is the rate in which you begin and end the acceleration so typically whilst the machine is quoted at its um, g speed um, the rate in which it begins it governs actually how fast it is Especially when you're looking at five axis, you're machining a micro-segment program, so there's lots of opportunity for the machine to accelerate and decelerate. The faster the machine is in terms of its, G, uh, its um, jerk rate, the faster it will be machining across the surface of material. So really, the more movements we're having to do, the, the better the gains? Yes, you will see that. If you machine with a machine with a lower jerk rate, the machine will spend a lot of time accelerating and deaccelerating. It's therefore unlikely in five axis you will achieve the correct speed across the surface. What this model, the HCR, does is deliver a class-leading jerk rate that means in, in, in true performance across the surface, the machine is very fast. So is, is, that, is that a combination of software and hardware, or is there a bias on one side? It is a combination of that, but it's also the structure of the machine. Uh, when the machine moves at high speed in one direction, it's been often necessary to decelerate the machine movement to avoid vibration when it changes the axis di direction. This so, is what I was going to say, does, does linear motors come into this or is it ball screws? This is ball screw technology, it's about the structure of the machine uh, being able to withstand the high speed movements in opposite directions. Okay, so when we talk about speed then Mark, this particular demo that we're doing here, uh, what are you demonstrating to show off that jerk rate? How fast is it machining? Well, this is a typical component that we would see perhaps in, 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 the, air, in the aerospace. And uh, the, 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 um, the market condition is really to achieve faster and faster cycle times. So this particular machine, with its high jerk rate, high acceleration and high rapid traverse, is combined with a 30,000 RPM spindle with an 80 kilowatt performance. So it's, it's a very efficient machine at removing large amounts of material very, very quickly. Okay, can you quantify the speed and what you're actually cutting here, depths of cut, speed of cut? Yes, uh, we're achieving six millimeter depths of cut at 18 millimeter feed rate. And you mentioned the spindle and you've got high power and high speed. Are they not often contradictory? You can't have one and the other. No, actually, um, but this machine has got very excellent characteristics. Normally, high power is achieved at the maximum RPM of the spindle, but this spindle has excellent performance where we achieve 80 kilowatts at 20,000 RPM. So from 20,000 to 30,000, we achieve the full power. So this gives a great range for a engineer to target machining of a wide range of cutters. A number of spindles, perhaps within this market, they have a sweet spot. A certain size cutter can achieve a certain performance at a certain RPM. But with this, you've got a large sweet spot from 20,000 to 30,000 machines that you, it really uh, means that you can achieve 
high performance throughout that range. Uh, so you wouldn't just then class this as an aluminium machine, although that you're doing that here? No, we wouldn't. We have other spindles in the range. We start with 12,000. We have an 18,000 spindle that offers both um, um, high power, high torque and high speed. We have 25,000 and then we go to the dedicated spindle at 30,000. And the speed of the actual, we call it the hardware, the machine, is that across all axes? Yes, it's, it's across all the three axes, yeah, the, the linear axes. And then the, the software that we're talking about here, Mark, this, this is the Smooth X or the Smooth G control? Yeah, this is Smooth X. It's a four, five axis simultaneous control. And this is the world's fastest CNC. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So what makes it the world's fastest? And it's how do you know that? The, it's the rate in which you can feed into the control. Um, if you take a one millimeter increment of program, and that represents an XYZ block of information, the maximum rate we can feed at the control is 540 meters per minute. And finally here then, Mark, we, we, we'll, we'll finish where we started, the machine itself, how it looks. Um, if you are machining that quickly, how on earth are you going to get the chips out? Is there, any, is there any track points? Well, actually, this is a really good design point of the machine. Horizontal spindle is excellent for chip removal. So the chips fall vertically down. We have a center trough through the middle of the machine, and the conveyor takes it out. And the covers are all designed so they're vertical, so the swarf exits the machine very quickly. OK, and with all of your machines, one of the, uh, the distinct things I'm picking up here at the open house is, is the automation element, adding pallet pulls, uh, expanding tool changes. Are they all options available with this range? Yes, that's a really good point. The model you see here is a single table version, but at the A and B show, we showed a two pallet changer. We can also offer a, um, a MPP with either six pallets, 12 or 18, or we can go to a full FMS and combine it with other machines in an automated system. When you go to that sort of level of automation, you also need to look at the tool magazine. We start with 40 tools. We can then go up with the chain magazine to 160 tools. And then beyond that, we can cater for larger quantities through our tool hive. Uh, one thing being a head turner, but is it, are you winning orders for this? Yes, this machine is doing very well so far and attracting a lot of inquiries.